we have a rectangle here and if I were to ask you what is the area of a rectangle well clearly the area of this rectangle is just base multiplied by height. If I were to now halve the rectangle, I have diagonally halved the rectangle, and I were to ask you what is the area of half of this rectangle, well, clearly you would say to me it's just the area of the entire rectangle divided by 2. I am halving the area of the entire rectangle. Now, what do you realize here? By diagonally halving the rectangle, I created a triangle. So the area of a triangle is just half the area of a rectangle. So here we have worked out, we have derived a formula to work out the area of a triangle. So let's write this down. The area of a triangle is equal to the base of the triangle multiplied by its height divided by 2. In other words, what we're saying here is that the area of a triangle is half of the area of a rectangle. So the area of a triangle is just half of the area of a rectangle. Now that we know that the area of a triangle is equal to the base times height divided by 2, let's do some examples. So let's start off with this one over here. The base of this triangle is 7 centimeters. The height of this triangle is 2 centimeters. Therefore, the area of this triangle will be equal to the base, which is 7, times 2, which is the height, divided by 2 which is just equal to 7 centimeter square. Now let's do this one here. The base of this triangle is 10 millimeters and the height of this triangle is 25 millimeters. So the area of this triangle will be equal to the base, which is 10, multiplied by the height, 25, divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is just 5. 5 times 25 is 125 millimeter squared. Now let's do this one here. The base of this triangle is 4 meters and the height of this triangle is 8 meters. So the area of this triangle is just equal to 4, which is the base, multiplied by the height 8, divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 8 is just 16 meters squared. Last but not least, this one. Now, how would I work out the area of this triangle? Well, the question is, can I work out the area of this triangle? And the short answer is no. Why not? Why can I not work out the area of this triangle here? Well, the reason is, I have not been given the height. Even though I have been given these two sides, I have not been given the height. So let's draw the height here. I have not been given the height here. I do not have the height. Even though I have been given the sides, I do not have the height here. Therefore, I cannot work out the area of this triangle with the given information. Now let's do this question. A triangle has a base of 4 centimetres and an area of 16 centimetres squared. What is the height of this triangle? So we have been given the base and we have been told that the area of this triangle is 16 centimetres squared but we have not been given the height. And that is what we have to work out, the height of this triangle. Now, we know that the area of a triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2. 
I have been given the area, so I can say that the area here is 16. I've been given the base, so I can replace the B here by 4. And I have not been given the height, that is what I have to work out. Now what do we have here? Here we have an equation where 4 times h, a quantity, divided by 2 is equal to 16. Now let's simplify this. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So this now is simplified to 16 is equal to 2 times h. So 2 times h is equal to 16. Therefore, h has to be 8. So we've worked out the height of this triangle to be 8 centimeters. Now, how do I know that the units is in centimeters? Well, all of the units that I have used here are in centimeters, so the height there that we worked out here has to be in centimeters because the area is in centimeters squared and the base is in centimeters. Now let's do this question. The shape below is made from two triangles. Find its area. So here the shape is made up of two triangles and we, we have been asked to work out the total area. So what we need to do in these types of questions is label the two triangles. So if I label this as A and this one as B, now the area of A, area of A, is equal to the base, which is 2 centimeters, multiplied by the height, 5, divided by 2. So the area of A is base times height divided by 2. So that's base, 2 centimeters, multiplied by the height, 5, divided by 2. That's equal to 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5 centimeter squared. Now, let's work out the area of B. The area of B is equal to, the base here is 3 centimeters, the height is 5 centimeters, so base times height divided by 2, so let's write this down, so the base is 3 centimeters multiplied by the height, 5 centimeters, and we divide it by 2, now 3 times 5 is 15, 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 centimeter squared. So now the total area of the shape is equal to, if I just sum these two, 5 plus 7.5, that is 12.5 centimeter squared. So my answer here is 12.5. Now let's do this question. Ben is making a model pyramid for his project on Egypt. It has four identical triangular faces and one square face. Ben paints all of the faces yellow. What is the total area that he paints? Okay, so let's underline the key information here that it has four identical identical triangular faces and one square face. So these are the four triangular faces which are all identical and it has one square face here in the center. Now it's asking us what is the total area that he needs to paint. So the area of this triangle here they've given us the height I have the base, so the area of this triangle here is just 8 times 8, the base times the height, 
as that's the height, that's the base, so base times height, 8 times 8, divided by 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 times 8, that's 32 centimeter squared. Now, I have four of these triangular faces, so if I want to work out the total area, I need to multiply that by 4. So I do 4, 4 times 32, 4 times 32, that's 64, 64 times 2, that's 128 centimetre squared. So that's the area of all four of the triangular faces. And then we need to work out the area of the square face in the middle. So the area of the square is just equal to 8 times 8, which is 64 centimetre squared. So now, what is the total area? Well, the total area is the 128 centimetre squared plus the 64 centimetre squared. So we just add them up via the column method. 64, add them up, 8 add 4 is 12, the 2 they carry the 1 there, 2 add 6 is 8, add 1 is 9, 1, so my answer is 192 centimetres squared. The diagonals of a square measure 12 centimetres. By splitting the square into 4 triangles, find the area of the square. So this is a square here. And the diagonals measure 12 centimetres. So 12 centimetre across this way and 12 centimetre across that way. Now, they, they are saying by splitting the square into four triangles, so let's underline the key information here, by splitting the, uh, uh, the square into four triangles, find the area of the square. So we are being asked to work out the area of the square and we need to split this shape into four triangles. One, two, three, four. Now, if the diagonal is 12 centimetres, then half of the diagonal has to be 6 centimetres. So from there to there, has to be 6 centimetres. And also across this way, if it's 12 centimetres across this way, then half of the diagonal here has to be also 6 centimetres. Now, what do we have here? Here, we have a right angle triangle with the dimension 6 centimetres that way and 6 centimetres this way. So let's write this down. So it's a right angle triangle which has a base of 6 centimetres and a height of 6 centimetres. So what is the area of this triangle? Well, the area of this triangle, base times height divided by 2. So 6 times 6 base times height divided by 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 times 6 is 18, so 18 centimetres squared. So 18 centimetres squared is the area of one triangle. But how many triangles do I have in total? There are four triangles, so I need to multiply this by 4. So if I just do this now, 18 times 4 by the column method, 4 times 8 is 32, put the 2 there, carry the 3 there, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, so my answer is 72 centimetres squared, which is the area of the entire square. A bathroom wall is decorated with 100 identical tiles, so let's underline the key information, 100 identical tiles. The picture to the right shows one of the tiles. So the picture to the right is 
just one tile and it says find the total gray area of the bathroom wall so I need to work out the total gray area of the bathroom wall so let's understand this this here is just one tile now each tile has some gray area what are the gray areas of the tile is just this triangle here and that triangle there so let's shade this in so this is the gray area and that is the gray area so the gray area of each tile this is one tile comprises of two triangles now I'm being asked to work out the gray area of the entire bathroom wall now the entire bathroom wall is made up of 100 identical square tiles this is one of the tiles now if I work out the tot the gray area of one of the tiles and then I multiply it by 100 I'll get the total grey area of the entire bathroom wall. So let's do this. So for one of the tiles, the grey area, the total grey area for one tile will be just the sum of the area of these two triangles. Now you'll notice that these two triangles are identical. 7 by 8, 7 by 8. So if I work out the area of one triangle and then multiply it by two, I get the total gray area. So let's do this. So the area of one triangle here is base times height, seven times eight divided by two. Eight divided by two is four. Seven times four is equal to 28 centimeter squared so 28 centimeter squared is just the area of one triangle but there are two gray triangles so we need to multiply that by two so 28 times 2 is equal to 56 centimeter squared so 56 centimeter squared is the gray area of one tile. Now, how many tiles are there? The entire bathroom wall is made up of 100 identical tiles. So what do I need to do to this number here? I need to multiply it by 100 to find the total gray area of the entire bathroom wall. So let's do this. 56 multiplied by 100 is equal to 5,600 centimeter squared. So now, this answer here, this is the total gray area of the entire bathroom wall. So my answer here is 5,600.